Liang and the Magic Paintbrush. Long ago in China, a boy named Liang earned money gathering firewood and cutting reeds. His one wish was to paint, but he could not afford to buy a brush. One day he passed an art school and went in. I want so much to paint, he said. Please, will you teach me? What? The teacher glared at him. A beggar wants to paint? He drove Liang away. But Liang could not keep his fingers still. When he went to gather firewood, he drew birds in the sand with a twig. When he went to the river to cut reeds, he drew fish on the rocks with drops of water. One night as he slept, an old man appeared on a phoenix and placed a brush in Liang's hand. It is a magic paintbrush. Use it carefully, the old man said, and flew away. Liang jumped for joy. Thank you so much, he called after the old man. Immediately, Liang began to paint. He painted deer. As he finished, he saw that the deer came to life. It really was a magic paintbrush. I will paint things for my poor friends, he thought. And he painted toy birds, horses, lanterns, and balls for the children. And for their parents, things to cook with, furniture for the house, and tools for the field. Then he went to the marketplace and set up a table among the other merchants, and he made pictures of birds to sell. To make sure the birds did not come to life, he left something out. One day a man asked for a picture of a crane. Liang gave it only one eye, but by accident one drop of ink fell where the second eye should have been, and the crane flew away. Now everyone knew about Liang's magic brush, including the greedy emperor. He went out with all his soldiers to take the brush away from Liang. But Liang refused to give it up. The emperor ordered him bound and brought to the palace. There the emperor ordered Liang to paint a dragon. But Liang painted a toad instead. The emperor then ordered him to paint a phoenix. He painted a rooster instead. Furious, the emperor seized the brush and ordered Liang imprisoned. The greedy emperor then sat down to paint mountains of gold. But they turned into rocks and rolled off the table. The emperor tried again. He painted a large tree. But what do you think happened? It turned into an enormous python, which nearly bit the emperor's head off. Liang knew the brush would lose its magic in the emperor's hands. He thought of a plan, and he sent word to the emperor, saying that in exchange for his freedom, he would paint whatever the emperor wished. The emperor accepted. Paint me the sea, the emperor ordered. Liang drew a sea. Where are the fish? the emperor asked. Liang drew and drew, and soon a sea full of fish were swimming about. So long as we have a sea, said the emperor, let us have a boat. Liang painted a boat, which was soon bobbing about on the water. Delighted, the emperor called the royal family to come and join him on the boat. Get us some wind so we can move, cried the emperor. Happily, Liang painted wind, and the boat began to rock. More wind, the emperor cried. Liang drew more wind, and more. Soon waves were splashing and crashing over the deck. Enough, 
the emperor cried, but Liang would not listen. He drew so much wind, the boat keeled over and broke into a million pieces. The emperor and the royal family sank to the bottom of the sea. The story of Liang and his magic paintbrush spread far and wide. But what became of Liang? Nobody knows. Some say that he went back to his own village. Others say that he roamed the earth, painting for the poor wherever he went. <laughs>